Hi and welcome. So I'm going to talk you a little bit of easy message and what it can do for you. So I'm going to open the app. So what's the idea behind easy message? So the basic idea behind easy message is to reach a huge number of recipients, so a big number of people, and writing only one single message. So basically you can use easy message to, to reach a group of people. But it's not just about group messaging. So easy message uses the basic test service that you have on your, on your phone, like the SMS service or the iMessage from Apple, if you have it enabled and, uh, well, you have a wireless connection. It also can send message by email and it can also post message to social networks like Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn. What makes different from, what make it, makes it different from, from the other apps is that you, you can choose to reach all your recipients using all these services. So you can send one message and this message can be delivered by SMS, for instance. It can be delivered by email and you, it can still be posted to all the three social networks that I mentioned. So how does it work? So basically this is very simple. So this is the main screen. You have a subject and a message field. So the subject is only, well, it's only necessary if you are going to, to send an email. So it's not mandatory. Of course, you can send email without the subject. But if, you, if you're going to send, for instance, just a regular test message by SMS or iMessage or something, so you don't need to write the subject. Basically, you just need the message. That's why the message field is marked is the only one marked as mandatory. So you can use subject for email messages, but for the rest you don't need to well you don't use it at all. So you can save the messages as templates and you see on the on the bottom right side there is a, a templates there. And you can attach images to, to your message. There is the, the attach icon so you open and then well you can select the photos and right now it says you don't have any recipients selected so there is no one target to, to receive your message so where do you select the recipients for your message so it's very simple so you go to the recipient screen so the recipient screen it loads all your, your entire address book and also if you have some groups some iCloud groups created they will also be loaded here so in order to add some recipients for your message basically just select them that's it so I selected two if I go to the main screen again I see that I have two selected recipients so what message will they receive well right now they will not receive anything because message is empty so i can select one of the templates here on the right <clears throat> there are some common messages here or you can create a new one so you just type a new message save so it's already listed here so it's already a template and well you can always edit this later so you can change it or you can delete it except the, the, the ones that are built in the default ones so you can only edit them but as you can see there is no delete, no delete option as it is for this one that we just created so once you select it here you see here in the bottom that it, that's the message selected so if you go to the message screen you see there is already written there for you of course you might not want to use this and you clear and you type something here okay that's it
see. So right now, if I press send, it will send the message to, to those two recipients selected. But what kind of message? So an email, an SMS, right? So let's go to settings. This is very important. This is a very important screen because it's here where you define your your sending options. So right here I can see that is selected to always send both. So it will send an email and it will send an SMS or well this SMS doesn't necessarily mean that you use the SMS service because if you have iMessage active and you have a, a wireless well yeah if you have internet access so it will use iMessage unless unless you disable iMessage on your phone settings and uh, sometimes you want to do that because let's say you want to send a message to a group of people but you don't want them to see each other reply so if you use the regular ser IMS ser service by default what iMessage does is create a, a chat group and sometimes we don't want a chat group so we just want to send the message to the recipients on the group but we don't want them to know about each other and we want them to, to reply individually so you can also include social networks you can see here there is twitter facebook and linkedin so i'm gonna leave it blank and uh, here is the preferred service so let's say that one of those two recipients well actually both as you can see it says email plus phone email plus phone and you can also look at on the details if you press the that, that information like so they, they both have an email address and a phone number so with these settings which means that you'll send an email and uh, you send also an SMS to, to this user but let's say okay they have both but I don't want them to receive uh, mass the same message by the two channels so in this case you select the preferred service so let's say the preferred service could be the SMS service or the email service or use both. If you select use both, each of these recipients, since they have you have an email address and a phone number for them on your address book, they will receive the message by phone and they'll also receive an email. So if you don't want to send them the, the, the same message by two different services, you select just one preferred service here. In this case, they will get just an email. But sometimes it's very important to, well, most of the time it's very important to hear on the send options that you select send both. Because let's say one of these, let's select this one here. Let's send another recipient just to show you. So this one here has only a phone number. Okay, so right now I have three recipients. Two of them might receive an email and an SMS and the other one will just receive an SMS. So as a, again, as a, when I say SMS, it could be also a message if it's enabled. So if I go to the settings, send both and preferred service email. So that means two of them will receive just the, the email and well, the other one, since it doesn't have, since it doesn't have an email, will receive the SMS so settings seems okay you know, you can also order the contacts on your list by last name by first name and uh, well I can show you so it changes a little bit the ordering of the list so as you can see the selected ones now it's it's the last name first then the, the first name as it was and you you also have some advanced filter options so let's say that you want your list to show contacts only because you have many 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 contacts there or you want want it to show only groups and in this case I selected only groups and if I go to recipients I see only groups so I have two groups here each one with the 
the plug back inside. It doesn't affect my, my selection, so I still have the, the three seconds selected. So let's put it show all. And well, well, when you have groups, they will be highlighted in bold. So you can still dis distinguish it, but you can use this, this filter option too. So it's easier for you to find. So in terms of settings, that's that's basically it. We already saw the, the include social networks, the templates. And now you can save this message as a template. I'm not going to attach anything. So right now, once you press the this 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 mailbox or this button, it will send the message, but you cannot send the message completely on the background. So the user needs to confirm it's already written, the, the recipients are selected. You press send, and right now it tells you if you want to send the group message and you don't want the, the group members to know about each other, you, su you should disable iMessage and MMS message. So this only prompts the first time so to make sure that you know each other. So I'm going to cancel here, and I could press send. If I press send, it will send the email, so it's it's also to undisclosed recipients, so they, they don't know about each other. And after you send the email, it will open the the interface for, for the SMS, for the SMS, for the for the iMessage. You confirm it again, and then if you have selected to post to one of the social networks available, it will open the, the corresponding page. And you can authenticate your user and post post a message. Uh, just a note for Facebook: the message when when it's posted to social media, it will also be copied to the clipboard because some some social not networks and especially Facebook so it doesn't allow to have a pre-filled message when when you you send it from from an app like this so an app that is not a, Facebook app. So you can not have the pre-filled message, so it will be copied to the clipboard and then when the, the Facebook share page opens, you can you can paste it. For the other network, so it's fine. So it's already pre-filled. So I'm going to cancel it right now. I'm going to delete the draft. And now it opens the the, the interface for, for the for the message, for the for the test message. In this case, I think it will be sent with SMS because I, I think I already have my message disabled. Well, but I'm not going to send nothing to these people right now. So I'm just going to cancel. But basically, that's that's the the walkthrough. So it, it shows you some interface. You select OK or send. Then it will show you the next one. You select OK or send or cancel. And that's it. So until it's sent to, to all the service that you have selected. So I'm going to cancel too. Well, right now I canceled so it cleaned everything so, so I can restart. Uh, one, well, there are many things to, to say, but uh, you can also explore, explore it or feel free to contact us, ask, asking your questions, giving your feedback so you can use this contact form here to, to send us your questions, your suggestions. Uh, just want to show you one more thing on the recipient screen. So you can also create new contacts uh, very easily. I'm going to cancel it right now. And you can also create new groups. Let's say I create a group called G1, okay, there's a new group created. Okay, now I don't see it because I, I didn't have tweaked my my filter option. But if I go here to the G, okay, here it is. So you can see it's in bold and it doesn't have any, any members inside. So I can just to show you how you can add something to a group, you can select it's always, it's always like that, just select and unselect. So you select the recipients and then 
you click here on the top right menu and there is the option to create a new group so right now the three users that are selected will be added to that new group that you create afterwards or you can just select add to a group so add to an existing group it will show you the list of existing groups I'm going to choose G1 because the other ones are iCloud groups and currently it's not supported to change iCloud groups so I'm going to select G1 and that's it as you can see it's already it's already says three members inside I go there I see the members I can remove them from the group just slide like that delete it okay and then I could delete also the group but I'm not going to do it right now so it's it's very easy to to create new groups just go here create new group or select a bunch of them and create a new group let's call it G2 okay I'm gonna change the settings again so I can see only groups and here it is my my G2, my G1. So this is the, the friends and the work are iCloud groups. So you can import iCloud groups and send message to, to iCloud groups, but you cannot change the content because the Apple logo it doesn't it doesn't provide a way to do that on the on the phone as well. So we can't mess much with this. So if I go here to the work and I say delete okay it will tell me no you cannot do that because it's not supported so basically that's it thanks for watching for watching and again if you have any questions or any doubts just use the contact form in the app thank you